All right, so I have caught up. Goot. So this is Kshatri versus Nemor on Banded Plains. Nemor going for the Shieldbot Factory, and Kshatri going for Cloakybot Factory, and Nemor started out in the Oops. southwest. Classic matchup. Nice. Yeah, I have not seen this matchup in a long time, and a map like this, I'm actually really excited. Like, the size of this map is just perfect to make this really interesting. Because it's a larger map, but it's still hilly enough that bots can work really well. That's one effective scythe. It, it initial rate uh, paid off. Oh, are you kidding? It's getting another wind generator and another metal... Really? It's getting two wind generators and a metal extractor for free. You've got to be kidding. Oh, one wind... Okay, one no wind LTs, generator still. No defenses in his base. Wow. On the other hand, Satria is not moving out with his constructor from his starting location. Only with his commander. So that... Well, what uh, constructor? Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, the one building the Nanolith. That's that's true. With the caretaker, so, I mean. In the short term, he has uh, yeah, one, but in the long term, um, Nimor is set up better for the for the next phase of the game. Yeah, at this point, Kshatra and Nimor are still economically even, except for Nimor's yep. energy. Nimor needs more energy, a lot more energy. But they have a hill; they can win Gen their way back into the game. That's no problem. Well, hey, here are four bandits. That's enough to overrun an LT. Yeah, that's going to be. You can just run over this base, at least uh, the right half of it. Yeah. If he moves to the right now and focuses the LT, he can... Oh, but is he, is he microwing? He is. Yes, that's exactly. Now he can demolish the right side of the base. And, oh wow, there's a scythe there, there's a glaive, and that's it. The scythe is going to be able to get a bit of damage off. Oh, uh. that scythe actually managing to do the trick! Ah, oh, that's a lot of range for a scythe. Yeah, it's that's actually kind of surprising. Bit longer than its scythe... Uh, Takes it out to be. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the red circle, it's, it's pretty it's big. <laughs> Almost, it's bigger than a flea, isn't it? I I can't test right now. I think it is, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say because the range... 100 Elmo. No, I think the flea's bigger. I think the flea's 140. Okay. But still, yeah, it's bigger than you'd think. It's a melee weapon, but yeah, it's not really a melee weapon. It looks like a melee weapon. Yeah, but technically speaking, it's a ranged weapon just with a really short range and instant fire speed. And a big hitbox. Because that's how melee is done in most games. <laughs> well, we have collision damage here, so we kind of have real melee. <laughs> that's true, but that's not quite what's happening. It's not simulating that on the scythe. It's just a projectile. It's just an invisible projectile that has a big hitbox. Oh, nice. Do you see that uh, outlaw there? I do. The one that's not on... Because it should be on to try to get rid of sides. But I do see that it exists. It's just not doing anything right now. Oh, the sides in the lower left corner. Oh, that's another two free metal extractors. Nothing Satria. there to stop it. It's not, it's, it's wasting. No, not anymore. Catching up. There we go. That's two more metal extractors that Kshatria has taken away from Nimor. See, this is the thing about Kshatria is that, like I said, Kshatria does play a heavy scythe game. Give them the he chance, does. they will play a heavy scythe game and. They are also pretty decent. I mean, surprisingly not expanding as much as I would have expected, but yeah. They're pretty decent Ooh, expansion. He runs they're into great the with, with his uh, raiders. Ah, oh, it's too bad that they're... Well, okay, first off, it's too bad for them that Kshatra has a machine gun. Also too bad for them that the bandits are not together, because that's still a recon com. Like, five or six bandits... Well, more now because of the machine gun. But yeah, without the machine gun, five or six bandits would kill a commander like that. With the machine gun, I wouldn't try it with bandits. No. <laughs> that's that's kind of the counter. That that won't that it won't work. You could try. And metal extractors over to the southwest have been taken out. Nemor down to eleven metal again. Another scythe in the main base. Kshatra being relentless with scythe pressure. I'm oh, thinking yeah, it's gonna yeah, backfire yeah. though. Now there's an LT and two bandits. Exactly. Uh, and racketeers as well, just in case. <laughs> Yeah, one shot and it will be disarmed. Pretty much. At the same time, Bandit's coming in to raid. So, raid's coming in here and Scythe's been disarmed. On the other hand, north side of the map, Nemor with their Bandit raids, taking quite a lot of damage. The uh, outlaw no, a bit late. Tactical oh, could have sucks. been a lot worse. Could have been, but the outlaw was not in position. No. Remember, hold control. If you want to make sure that things move at the same rate, hold control while setting orders. Then everything will move at the rate of the slowest unit. Also, focus the LT while you move past it. Yeah, 
the set target command, which unfortunately does not have a default hotkey, but hotkey the set target command, or set target circle actually, and then use that and select things. That'll give you the targeting you need. So then you can focus something down while moving away from it. Very handy. I think you can also just attack it like using the attack command, but I find that riskier. Maybe right clicking it works too. If you do attack, then there's a chance the, the unit will stop moving for a second. Yeah, because there's a chance you misclick, and then I think right clicking will work too. If you right click the actual unit that you're targeting and then right click to move again, I just find that a lot more troublesome. But if you do that while you are in weapon range, it will stop moving. Yeah, that's what I mean. You have to move again. Like, you have to do that, and then you have yeah. to move again afterwards, and then the targeting will happen automatically. <laughs> and the scythes are not doing Come their on, job. It's running into two uh, roaches. Oh, crap. That commander's dead. That's <laughs> not dead. dead. Oh, right, because it's level two. <laughs> that upgrade. That oh, must be a plate of armor. Close. Yes, it is. Oh, my but goodness. Kshatra's be... armor plates. That sur that caused our commander to survive. This is still at the stage of the game where commander death is meaningful. But that commander needs to jump now. And the commander jumped right then when it needed to. Holy crap, that was clutch. <laughs> I mean, He's the jump was clutch. I mean, the jump was clutch. The armor was just good planning. I yeah. mean, okay, look. I can't remember who it was. I, th I think it was... It wasn't Hokomoko. Who was talking about the fact that a blade of armor is not that great? Might have been Failthos. I'm not sure who on the forums. Is either Failthos or someone like that? It's like they were talking about how armor is useless, not worth the cost. I present to you the counter example: <laughs> two roaches against a recon com. If you expect roaches, go for the armor plating. Don't try to attack uh, convicts. <laughs> He'll just build a turret in your face. <laughs> Yeah. That's a nasty attack on the on the bottom, l lower bottom side with the sides and the, and the glaives. Oh yeah, that coming up there, that is going to be dangerous. Is there no radar or is it me? I don't see any. Oh, no, there is some, it's right at the top. He has no coverage of the of that area. Nope. Entirely focused on the <laughs> west center of the map. Nemor is not at all focused on what's going on in the southeast and the southwest, taking some damage. Now is the perfect time to attack. Shatra is distracting Nemor with the southwest. Actually, Nemor doesn't really seem to care. Nemor is entirely ignoring the southwest. The thing is, the scythes make it easy for him to determine if the glaives can attack or not. They still yeah. have good scouts. And the glaives coming in on top of the sides. And mm. distracting that Lotus too. Nice teamwork there. One of the sides has gone down, but the glaives already have their opening. Nemor's commander unupgraded. And but. it's not a great recon com. That is a dead shield bot factory. Kshatra has done his job. It was an expensive attack. Now he needs to start morphing and build a new factory immediately. Yeah. Build, build a jump bot factory uh, in, on, the, on the top left side. And spam turrets in, uh, at, at his commander. Uh, it looks like light vehicle instead of the north at the Ooh. west center. Not jump bots. A little surprising, light vehicles that close? I guess they're planning to go for Scorcher Dive. Uh, I think if you're so close to your opponent, you can do the Pyros and the the one with the spike. Yeah, I agree, Jax. But I agree, I like yeah. Jack. And it looks like Chatria is going for a drop. Yeah. Bunch of Ooh, Valkyries, that's... bunch of Warriors. This is another thing Chatria likes to do a lot, is drops. They actually really move. like their sneaky strategies. Very strong move, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the thing with Kshatra. They love their sneaky strategies. They just also have pretty good economy management on top of that. So they can... They have their sneaky strategies, and they can actually do them. Like, it's... They're, the strategies are real, because they have stuff behind it. Unfortunately, Kshatra's commander Attack in a really tight spot. Needs to jump. And it does not jump far enough away. Needs to jump into the water. So, Kshatra's commander dead. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, well, at any rate, Kshatra does have an economic advantage. Pretty How large transport one, too. does he have now? It's... Whoa. Oh, that's a lot. But they're not all filled up with warriors yet. No. But still, that... What we Returning the favor. It's ten. Yeah, okay. This... Is... So, Kshatra lost their commander. But at 35 metal per second, that's not a huge difference. I mean, if Kshatra can keep Nemo from, from reclaiming the commander wreck then it'll be totally fine. And it looks like that will be the case. In fact, Shatcher is going to be dealing a lot of damage here. This is going to be a powerful... This is probably going to be the drop that's needed. Yeah. And he there were scores coming this. up. 
Those Scorchers are not going to be able to do much. <laughs> Lycle, this is Lycle, awesome. Yeah, Life Eagle Factory going down. It's completely dead, and this will be able to get rid of basically all of Nemor's Western expansion, leaving the main base alone, and Nemor going for a Klogibot Factory in the main base, but only with 5 metal per second. A lot in reserve, but only 5 metal per second in actual economy. Kshatra's relentless scythe pressure has done everything it can do. Like, there's no more metal extractors left for Nemor. They're entirely relying on commander income. That's what that 4.5 is. And wow, that's enough. At this point, Kshatra can go in for the kill. And Kshatra yep. has so much in the sides. It can just pick that army up again and drop it uh, in the main base now. I don't... Yeah, they could. Yes, actually they could. All the Valkyries survived. That's yeah. new. I've <laughs> never seen a drop that effective. Normally Valkyries will... The Valkyries will die. Half of the units will drop. And of those, half of them will die on impact. Yeah. But There wasn't that much uh, defender spam. Uh, so it was easy for those uh, Valkyries to move around. Yeah. And to drop. And there's that second drop. And he was uh, ahead in the economy by a factor of four anyway, so... It depended on reclaim, but yeah, it was factor of three minimum. And now it's just... Hey, move. There's nothing to it. So yeah. Shatra just cleaning come? this up. Wow, I am honestly surprised. Nemo did really well in the last game, but I guess they need to have setup time. They're not great at dealing with massive amounts of pressure from all sides. And that's it. That's game. Nemorth, I don't know if they're going to GG fast. I don't know if they're going to resign fast enough. Quite honestly. Oh, they <laughs> just barely resigned in time. Like, it was so close. But yeah, metal income. Wow. Nemorth did have an advantage briefly a little bit, but it was really in spikes. Kshatriya had a much stronger advantage overall. Yeah, Kshatriya really just had the entire game. In the palm of their hand. It's quite the difference there. All right, let's see if Failthos and Icons have. They started their game. They started up. Okay, how long ago? Uh, they've been playing for eight, eight minutes, minutes now, almost now nine. Well, let's check that out anyway because, yeah, why not? All right, so let's switch over to that.